Halo teman-teman, kembali lagi dengan aku Lala. Hari ini kita akan melanjutkan lagi uh, game Choice The Royal Romance Book 1 masih di chapter 11. Oke, langsung aja. The next morning you hear Bertrand and Maxwell calling to you from the from the hallway. Rise and shine, little blossom. Day two of the Apple Blossom Festival. I hope you're prepared to fight for your time with the prince, Lolo. And for the apples, you made an apple pie before, right? And you're pretty good at planting apple tree. Apple pie. Uh, I'm sorry, Maxwell. Tapi aku nggak pernah nggak pernah buat. Eh. Uh, uh, <laughs> Will you impress or fall flat in the conclusion of Cordonia's Apple Blossom Festival? Find out in the next chapter. Oke, okay, kita udah nyampe di chapter 12. As sweet as apple pie. Oh, can you impress the queen at the Apple Blossom Festival? Hasmuga aja. Queen. Da, 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 da. Chapter 12 As Sweet as Apple Pie It's the second day of the Apple Blossom Festival As you leave the manor, Patron finds you Lala, there you are I'm here to prepare you for today's event at the Apple Blossom Festival Way ahead of you I ate an apple tart for breakfast with apple cider and whipped apple butter, so I think I'm about as ready as I can be. I don't care about your food consumption. I care about how you're going to appear today. Sabar dong, Betren, sabar. And you should care too. The best dressed lady will be crowned the apple queen. Ooh, what's that? It's an amusing tradition where the festival goers vote on who's and who will run the apple court. You get extra publicity, the favor of the actual queen, and the ability to post people around for an hour. My interesting. The best dress, huh? Something tells me you got an outfit in mind. Patron quickly leads you back inside the manor to change clothes. There's no time to lose. Throwing a series of promise and threats, I was able to procure a historically accurate rendition of Cordonian peasant peasants. Oh my God! That's gone from the country most prestigious stage production company available on consignment. With this dress, you'll be sure to win the the title of Apple Queen. The peasant queen will earn the admiration of the attendant and unlock the special apple queen scene. Oh, maiden fair, a traditional Cordonian folk gown, sure to impress the prince family. My god, this is so beautiful. And the other is just, yeah, yeah, this is so beautiful, right? The blue, a little bit golden, there's a green. Uh, oh, this is so beautiful. I will catch you. Country cute, you unlock a maiden fair in the closet. How's this? Are you sure it's not too silly? It's perfect. You can thank me later. Come, we're overdue to meet Maxwell. Hmm, okay. As you and Betrayn reach the apple or cart, you spot Maxwell. Hey Lala, ready to show off your baking skill? I cannot. Uh, I can toast my own pop tarts. But jadi ya yeah, aku bisa baking sih, tapi enggak. Not not so professional. Two at a time. Having a child can accomplish that. Oh, but why will my baking skill matter out here in the orchard? 
Because the next event of the Apple Blossom Festival involves baking an apple pie for the Queen. O M G. For the Queen? Yes, today is all about getting the Queen's favor. As we draw closer to the coronation, she'll be testing all the potential candidates. Be careful what you say around her. It also helps if you won the pie baking contest. Roger that. But you will not be baking alone. It's a team event, so you can rely on the other ladies if you need to. Some of the team are absolutely amazing bakers. I'm sure Hannah could wipe up an apple pie even if she was blindfolded yet through. Maybe you can get on her team. Maxwell direct you to where the ladies gather for the royal back off. Make us Spielman proud. Okay. <laughs> Maxwell and Betrayan walk off, leaving you with the ladies. Moments later, Queen Regina enter. Greetings, ladies. I'm glad to see everyone here again. We will soon be dividing into two teams to partake in the apple pie baking contest. I have decided that Olivia will captain one team and Madeline the others. Ladies, please select your team. I choose Lady Penelope. Ah, oh, we'll bake po poodle shape by crumpets. No. Oh, okay. Lady Kiara. Mercy. Olivia and Madeline pick from the other ladies until the only two left are you and Hannah. Look at the two stray. Come on, Lala. I will adopt you. You're not as mangy as Hannah. Wait, we are fair. How dare you? If you adopt one of us, you have to adopt both of us. Two? Undeserable? Undes undeserable? Nah, what the heck is that word? I cannot even say it on one thing. That's just vile. I don't really care. You can have both of them. Hannah's with me. Yes, I am. As you walk toward the outdoor packing setup, the queen approach you. Lady Lala. I hope you'll accept expectation like last time. Don't worry, I'll bake you something that make Angel weep. That's the spirit. Best of luck, Lady Lala. As the ladies arrive at the outdoor kitchen, Olivia and Madeline organize their team. Lala, Hannah, cut the apples. That should be simple enough tasks that even you can handle. But I... Olivia walk away before Hannah can finish. I appreciate your chef, chef skill, Hannah. We cut this. With the ladies all position, Queen Regina address the crowd. Oh, jadi ini timnya cuma Madeline sama Olivia doang. Okay. Let the great, let the great Cordonian back off begin. The ladies jump into a flurry of activity. Olivia slam a basket of apples in front of you. Get to work! You and Hannah quickly peel and slice the apple. Okay, that's done. Let's see the receipt. Say we should add two cups of sliced apple. But we are doubling the size of the pie. So, so we should add four cups, okay? Great, I'll do the measuring. Okay, I start getting the spice together. You take the cut apples. You take the cut apples and turn to the mixing bowl. I shall add four cups of apple. You measure four cups worth of apple and set it aside for the cinnamon mix. That looks perfect. Thanks, I'll tell Olivia we've done our job. Hey Olivia. You find Olivia near the other team's kitchen. She hides two identical shaker behind her back as you approach. The apples are ready. Ah, uh, good. What are you doing? Official captain business. Right. 
What are you really doing? Olivia check around for if droppers before whispering to you. I'm switching the salt and sugar label for the other team. Now that you know, you can spare me your moralizing and leave. I don't have much time. Olivia, you shouldn't do that. You say that like it's going to stop me, okay? You know it's wrong. Duh, but I aim to win. Now leave. Hush, hush. Only if you leave with me, we'll win this pack of fair and square. Olivia, look around and see Penelope returning. Ah, fine. You already win my one change anyway. Olivia walk away, threatening you with her. Now, go sit by the oven and don't touch anywhere. Olivia leave you by a wood fire oven. Hannah whip and come over. This pie is almost ready to be baked. I want to help me decorate it before it goes in the oven. Does this include? Does does this include a taste test? That is leftover apple filling. Consider me at your command, Captain Hannah. I want to add a little flair to the pie, so we will pick with a pretty design. So I'm not sure what the design should be. What do you think the queen would like? We should add a Cordonian royal seal, picker, flurry of roses. I don't even know what is the. I mean, kalau yang aman sih Cordonian royal seal. It's my fit for a queen after all. The seal is a bit complicated, but I love a challenge. Hannah tulis away at the dome, forming the rock outline of Cordonian shield. Wow, you're really amazing at this. Wow, you sound so surprised. Just very impressed. Kiara discovered you two decorating the cross. Hey, you're not supposed to. Wow, trust me. You think the queen will like it? Should be a fool not to. Let's bake this masterpiece. Kara takes the freshly decorated pie and put it in the oven. One pie coming right at you. Kara trips, sending the pie flipping through the air. I should catch the pie. Oh my God! You dive after the pie, catching it before it hit the ground. Got it. Wow, that was spectacular. You try to leave, place the pie in the oven. Oh. Save, 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 save the up, save the apple pie, save the world. As you wait for the pie to cook, you and Hannah take a break. You sip on water while enjoying the warmth of the sun filtering, filtering through the apple tree. So, Hannah, let me guess. Baking is another one of those skills you had to learn. The way to a man to a man hurts is through his stomach, as my mother used to say. But at least. I got to taste test all of my creation, including sneaking in some uncooked batter every now and then. As is the chef, right? Ding! That's the oven timer. Look like the up the pie done. We'll pull it out of the oven. Hot, 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 hot! Keep that here. Olivia smooth. Smoothly takes the, the pie from you and presents it to Queen Regina at the same time that Madeline presents her team's pie. Thank you, both. We'll begin the judging with Madeline's pie. So examine the quality of the pie presentation. This is very well done. Good work, Madeline. Thank you, ma'am. Queen Regina cuts out a piece and bites into it. Oh, that is a delightfully scrumptious. A perfect blend of sugar and spice. Olivia scolds at you. Ah, the queen sees her attention to your team's pie. Hmm, this design is amazing. Who did this? I did, Your Majesty. You are exception, exceptionally talented, Lady Anna. Thank you, ma'am. But I had help from Lady Lala. Then let me extend my compliments to both of you, and the crust is in splendid condition. 
Kun Regina cuts into the pie and sample a small bite. The perfect amount of apples with a distinguished flavoring. Thank you, ma'am. The queen dabs her mouth with a napkin. After waking, the strength and weakness of each side are declared Olivia Thames, the winner. This is one of the best apple pies I've had in a long time. Very well done, ladies. Queen P, you impressed the queen with your apple pie. Yee you're you honor us all, ma'am. Oh. Now, ladies, if you'll proceed across, proceed across the grounds of for our next event. Cleaning staff clear the area as you walk away with the other ladies. Queen Regina approach you. Lady Lala, may I have a word? Uh, what is it? Wait, let me drink first, Queen. Ah, of course, ma'am. She leads you away from the ladies for a stroll through the apple orchard. First, I'd like to compliment you on your historically accurate costume. It's nice to see you embracing the tradition. Thank you. I, sp I suspect this isn't what you took me on this walk to talk about, though, is it? Ah, you are direct, but not incorrect. I wanted us to get to know one another better. I've been impressed with how you have comported yourself so far. You have demonstrated grace and composure, composure unlike most. Thank you, ma'am. But the queen, no matter how graceful and composed, cannot be everywhere at once. You'll need to appoint advisor and ambassador to act in your stead. Ah, true enough. Effective delegation is effective leadership. Precisely. That is why I like to hear your opinion on some of those around you. Of course. Madeline is one of your strongest competition competitor. What's your opinion opinion of her? She's a valuable asset. She has the pedigree and the skill to thrive at courts, court, and she used that to her advantage. She could be a valuable ally or a difficult enemy. Interesting assessment. Hannah has been a competitor since the beginning, and you two seem closer than the others. What do you see in her? Hannah is extraordinarily extra extraordinarily ordinarily talented. She basically a court prodigy and she helped me find my footing when I didn't know where to step. She is someone you want to keep in your inner circle, I assume. Absolutely. I had a similar talk about her myself. What you say about your friends can reveal more about you than I than about them. And Prince William Commoner friends straight. You're by his side quite often despite him having a having little to do with the competition. Track is Reliable if rock around the edge. He can be moody, but he'll come through for his friends in a pinch. Drake's loyal, and I understand why Prince Liam trusts him. I do too. It's good to surround yourself with people you can trust. Ini queennya pingin, queennya juga pingin tahu relationshipnya kita sama uh, orang-orang lain dan juga kayak relationshipnya kita sama Drake. Apa kita tuh punya perasaan apa enggak? Padahal Drake itu kayak Little, little to do with the test. A true, a true queen must have a network of allies she can call upon. It's clear you've been assessing how this around you may help you one day. Queen B, you impress the queen with your answer. Yes, I'll do my best. You may return to the other suite, Lady Lala. It's time I announce the next event. Of course. Thank you, ma'am. He courtesy and rejoin the other ladies among a gathering crowd of onlookers. The queen addressed everyone. The Apple Blossom Festival symbolized the growth vital to keeping our small nation thriving. Now, as in tradition, we will honor one distinguished best dressed lady as this year's Apple Queen. This is ceremonial position. 
for the people to decide. Last year's, it was our very own Lady Madeleine. And I very much appreciate the honor. As for this year's, citizen of Cordonia, who do you wish to honor with this title? The crowd erupts into world cries, a frenzy mix of names, cheer, and boos. Lala! Lala! Chant for Lala over power any dissenting names. I think we have a clear winner. Lady Lala will be this year's Apple Queen. Queen for the day, the people selected you to be their Apple Queen. <laughs> Breaking news folk, Lady Lala has been elected Apple Queen. What will this mean for the race to win Prince Liam's hand? Our expert panel will wake in shortly. Stay tuned. Woohoo! Go Lala! Party like it's 12.99. All hail the Apple Queen from the Big Apple. Lady Lala, please join me for your coronation. You stand before the Queen, she and you an apple-shaped scepter. Lady Lala, I pronounce you Queen of the Apples. Long live the Apple Queen. Queen Regina, it's an honor. Thank you all for electing me to represent you as the Apple Queen. I'm happy to accept this esteemed position and I will treat it with the utmost respect. What now? My Queen, I will serve as your acting seneschal and quite you through the ceremony. Before we proceed, we must fill out the app court. These are the cor courtiers who will parrot behind you. Who will be your cupbearer? This person shall be close confident you trust with your life. Trust with my life, I guess. Liam? I'm glad you put your trust in me, my queen. Liam takes his place at your right hand side. The queen pull out a goofy looking full cap. My queen, if you'll name your court jester. <laughs> Drake, I'm sorry Drake, but this is, this is really funny. I should have known. Come to me, my jester. Whatever you say, royal. Address me like that one more time, and I'll have you thrown in the stocket. Oh, queen, apple queen. <laughs> Aduh, ya ampun. Drex put the jester cap on his head. The bell jingle as they fall down by his face. My queen, with your court assembled. It is your right to sue an addict before your people. You turn to the crowd. My people. Love binds us together. Wherever it is love of country, love of citizen, love of self, this bond holds us together. Our differences are insignificant compared to the power of love that we share with one another. Queen Regina summoned a horse, pulling a wagon of apples. Oh my god! Oh, magnanimous apple queen, please show your generosity and share your bountiful harvest with us. Let me show you my love. Each and every one of you here is the apple of my eye. Oh. It's the apple of my eye. You climb on the wagon with your cord and parrot past the crowd. You call to your hand, you apple. Which you then toast to the flood of clamoring hand. Toward the end of the line, you see Olivia sulking among the crowd. You throw an apple at her. She frantically attempts to catch it, but it but it's unsucks, unsucks, unsucks. Successful, buset, ngomongku dari aneh. The apple hit her chest with a thud. Oh, how do you like them apples? Very funny. The apple queen's power is absolute. You keep apple all the way down the parrot line. At the end, Madeline stand by the potted baby apple tree. Your Majesty, please honor your ancestor. Last year's Apple Queen and plant a tree for the next generation. 
Madeline courtesy as you approach. My queen, happy wish for you. I shall address Madeline as my ancestor. Thank you, my ancestor. The labor of your four beers will help you build a better world. Madeline lowered her voice and continued. Not many get the pleasure of being addressed as my queen. Suffer this moment, you may never hear the praise again. Oh my, Madeline! I take nothing for granted. Surprisingly level-headed. Maybe being a commoner has taught you to accept your station. Oh my God! So jerk! It taught me to appreciate the little things and not to be an utter jerk. Good. I like complacency in a future subject. Madeline smirked and stepped back to reveal a hole for the sapling. The crown is yours, my queen. You take the baby apple tree from the pot and place it into the into the hole and scoop the dirt in around it. Everyone, everyone, the work we do today will benefit future generation. They deserve something worth inheriting. The crowd claps. Thank you, gracious Apple Queen. As for your final honor, Liam knelt before you. I may be in your service, but in my capacity as a prince, you are entitled to a kiss, my queen. Oh, Liam, I humbly accept your offer. As my queen wish. Prince Liam rise, he tenderly leans and kiss you on the cheek. Big Apple, you were celebrated as the Apple Queen. <laughs> With the tree planted and the kiss of chief, the crowd dispersed. It is time I head back to the Applewood Manor. So please feel free to enjoy the festival as the reigning Apple Queen. Past Queen have been popular at the Apple Bobbing Contest. Thank you, ma'am. Before you can get too far, Maxwell break through the crowd and wave you over. There's our glorious Apple Queen! Thanks for your support! I hear you cheering out there! Well, somebody had to do it, but anyway, that's not why I'm here. I might be able to get you some time alone with Prince Liam today. I happen to know he's in the, he's in the manners conservat conservatory right now waiting for a few novels. I could distract them long enough with over to donate to their favorite cause. This could be your chance for a romantic moment alone with him. Woohoo! Oke okay, teman-teman, sampai di sini dulu the royal romance-nya. Keren banget kita udah jadi the queen of apple. Kalau kalian suka video aku, please click like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.